Do you think you have what it takes to be a TV weather presenter? My name's Nate Byrne, I'm the weather presenter on ABC News Breakfast and I'm here to tell you about an exciting new competition. It's called Presenting My Local Weather. We want to see you present your local weather. So we're going to help you by figuring out how to read a weather chart, we're going to learn how to put together a TV weather presentation and we're going to help you film and edit your video at home. Let's start by checking out a weather chart with someone from the Bureau of Meteorology. There is a lot of information on weather charts and it can be very confusing. So I've got Jem here to help me out. Jem, we'll start with this chart behind us. What are the white lines everywhere? Oh, hi Nate. So these white lines, they're where the pressure is constant. So all the same pressure along one single line. All right. I notice they're kind of going in circles around this H and this L. What do they mean? Well, the H, that's a high pressure system. So over this kind of area, you might get higher pressure. And then uh, down here, we've got an L and that's a low pressure system. Okay, well, out of the L, there's this blue spiky line and then a dotted line after that. What do they mean? Well, what they mean, um, we've got a cold front uh, and then we've got a trough. And along those, you get a lot of weather. So you might get uh, cloud and rain. Oh, oh, there we go. Just like that. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah. And maybe even the occasional storm. Wow, okay, so what about wind? Because we talked about cloud and rain. Wind's the other really important thing with weather. Yeah, so um, what we get is uh, wind moving between these lines. So around a high pressure system, you'll get them going anti-clockwise, and then around a low pressure system, clockwise. All right, so if you've got a cold front, we can expect the winds to be going around it clockwise, and we'll see cloud and maybe storms and some rain. Yeah, absolutely. And if there's a high pressure system, the wind will go around it anti-clockwise and it'll be blue skies and really nice weather with light winds. Absolutely. Thanks so much for helping us out, Jem. No worries, thanks. Thanks, Jem. Now let's have a chat to Jane, who's going to tell you how to put together a weather report. Hello, my name is Jane Bunn. I am meteorologist and weather presenter for Channel 7 Melbourne. And today I'm going to show you how to put together all of the graphics that you can see behind me and how to put together a weather report. First of all, the shot where Mitch will throw to me and say, Jane, what's the weather doing today? And we have a lovely, pretty picture. Uh, so we'll start with that. And then we will bring in what we actually saw happen today. So in the city, this is how cold it was overnight and then how warm it was during the day. And then what's happening outside now. Uh, we'll have a look at what the suburbs are doing. So I'll just play this through so we can see it actually moving in, in action. And you've got the cloud that's coming through. You've got the radar, so what the rain's actually doing. And then you've got each of the locations that we have a weather station for, uh, what their minimum and what their maximum was. The next scene would be that again, but for Victoria. So you can see the cloud that's moving through. You've got all the minimums and maximums for those locations. Uh, and then we pop out to all of Australia. So that's what happened up until now. And then we shift into forecast mode and go through what's going to happen from here on. Still out at that national level so we can see what's actually influencing what's going to happen to us. Now we move through to having a look at the individual days and how the rainfall might move through. So here's our front moving through on Tuesday, our rain coming in and then going further in time and looking at the rest of the week and snowfall happening here in the Alps and then another system coming in and then drying up as we head towards the end of the week. So you can see day by day which days will have wet weather, which ones won't, but also is it in the morning or is it in the afternoon or is it going to be overnight where we won't actually see it at all. And then heading into Victoria now, so we go one in, it gets to the end of that scene there and now we're going to what's going to happen in the city and I have this divided into different parts of the day so you can see that when you first wake up what is supposed to happen then and then as it goes through what's going to happen at lunchtime, what's going to happen at school pickup time and then what's going to happen during the evening and when the rain is most likely or when it's not what direction that wind is going to be. Is it a northerly so it's warmer? Is it a southerly so it's feeling cooler? And also what the headline is, what our minimum and maximum is and how much rainfall is the most we're going to see out of this wet weather tomorrow. Then we go looking all the way ahead and we have a look at each individual day and see all of that. Well, that's it from me. Now I've shown you how to put together your weather report. Now we'll go over to Ben, who is going to show you how to set up the shot and also edit your weather video. 
Hello, I'm Ben Domencino from WeatherZone. So once you've figured out what to say, you'll need to work out how you can film it. First things first, you'll need a camera. Any type of video camera with a microphone will do. You could use a DSLR, a mobile phone, or even a GoPro. Next, you'll need to work out if you want to use any weather props. A lot of professionals use green screens like this one, but you don't have to. There are plenty of other ways that you can show weather graphics. You may want to use a TV like this one, or you can even draw your own charts and stick them up on the wall. If you do want to show weather charts, the Weather Zone and Bureau of Meteorology websites have some great resources that you can use for free. Remember though, you don't have to use props. You can even film outside. The most important part of a weather presentation is what you say. Now when you're filming, you also want to consider some things like how the audio and the light may affect your video. You can go on the competition website to find some tips on these. Now you may be lucky enough to get your whole video done in one take, like Nate and Jane always do. Or you may have multiple clips that need to be stitched together like I do sometimes. If you do need to join your clips together, or you'd like to add in some photos or videos of the weather, there are a number of programs on the computer that can help you do this. We've listed some of the more common ones on the competition website. Cheers, Ben. That's everything we've got for you today. The competition is open now. We've gone through a lot here, but there is even more information. You can find it all at the website. Just go to www.amos.org.au, click the competition link. That's where you'll find all the information, plus the competition details, and you can see what prizes there are up for grabs. So best of luck. I can't wait to see what you come up with.